We're gonna do some more of it in the future. Alright guys, we're 2-0 right now. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and win, guys. Let's go ahead and win another one. Let's go for 3-0 uh, right here, right? So we're gonna go for Random Rare Relic, and this could be bad. It's Shovel. So Shovel I, guys, you saw the video, right? Shovel got me dead branch. So I have a particular feeling, a particular liking towards the Shovel. Most of the time, I do Shovel, and it's like... I dig myself into a grave. But sometimes it jigs a dead branch, and then the run is won. So it could go either way. You know, matter of fact, I'm not going to go for any elites, because what we're going to do is we're going to... See, this is bad, right? Because we're not going to go for elites. We're missing out on potential relics. But what I'm going to do is instead of going for elites, I'm going to dig. And maybe that's, like, my way of doing elites. We'll see. See, I don't like digging every campfire because upgrades are super important. And I've, I learned that the hard way. The clothesline's fantastic. You're gonna be rich, famous, and healthy, I'm sure. Hope it's same for me. Thank you so much, Mork. Rich, famous, and healthy. That's, that's a great thing to aspire to. Appreciate it. I hope that's anything for you as well. Thank you for the $10. Um, I could take a headbutt now, prematurely, but I don't have anything for the headbutt. I'm gonna go ahead and skip. That's your... <laughs> I want to skip. Although body slam is interesting, uh, I'm gonna skip. Headbutts. One, two, three. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for fe feeding the stream. Exactly. That's why I have this bread right now because of you. Thank you so much. Turns out people in the Slater Spider community don't really donate. But it's fine. It's not all about the donations. Also, my audience is not super huge, right? Uh, so we're getting a lot of upgrades, which means... That's okay, but we might even die right here. Might be dead right here. The weaken or the block? Uh, block. Okay, we're fine. Uh, I can't dig now. Now I have to rest. Because we lost a lot of life from these events. In fact, I was taking too much damage. I should be playing less... More damage reverse. Cleave. I've been really liking Cleave, but... Okay. I'll dig again. Mmm. Okay. Okay, Pentagraph is very good. I'll dig one more time. Ah, so, you know... Um... These are not the best, I'll say. Um... I like Panacea a lot. I've been really liking Panacea, guys. If I, if I pick up a Flex, then Panacea is fantastic. I know you guys are like, why the hell did you just buy that? I know, I know, I know. But I think Panacea is fantastic. Let me show you why. Just give me a Flex. Don't give me, don't give me guys like this. I should mention, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of debuffs in this game. Iron Wave. I'm scared that we're not gonna have enough damage to proc this guy. I, we're right to head to the Guardian, guys. I feel like we don't have enough damage. We don't have any way to steal damage, like no spot weakness, right? And then we don't have... We don't have, like, Rampage scaling. So this guy procs at 36? 35? So this would proc him. That's decent.
And you don't have to, uh, you don't have to epi. Appreciate that though. I feel like I want to take Infernal Blade just because we don't have a win condition. So I'm going to take it. But that could be bad, right? Oh, no, that's, thank you so much. Hey, thank you. So, that's, like, that's more than enough. Just anything that you give is more than enough. I appreciate a lot more. You don't have to worry about that. Thank you. Maybe Pendant will carry this. So, Brutality works for some form of clay. That could be interesting. But, I, you guys, we know I hate Brutality. I mean, Brutality does make sense for form, some form of clay. So, maybe I just do it. Is it worth it? Every time I take one damage, I get three block, right? So, that could help me get consistent block. I'll try it. Oh, man. So, we can dig for a relic or we could upgrade. I feel like upgrading might be more important because we need to get... I think we don't have enough damage, right? Can I show him? Yeah, show new dragon. Here you go. I'm sorry about that new dragon. So here's the ascension. So basically you beat the game, beat all three bosses, and then you get this thing called ascension mode. And as you, the, each ascension level you go up from one to 15, it gets harder and harder. So towards the end, you're getting, so elites are deadlier, bosses are deadlier. You can start each one damage, you heal less. Elites are tougher, bosses are tougher, which means they have more HP. Potents become less potent at some point, and then you get less upgraded cards. Bosses don't give as much gold. Lower max HP, and then now on the Century 15, the events hurt you a lot more, right? So you lose a lot more HP. If you don't take a potion from the lady, she smacks you in the face, etc., etc. So it's, it's like it's a nice difficulty. Not to mention, we also have a curse, right? Start each one cursed, and now this curse cannot be removed. Uh, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's right here. So, so we can dig, but I think digging is not going to save the run, right? If it, I don't know. If we get dead branches, then yes, it, it saves the run. But if I get an energy relic, if I get an energy relic, it would be really nice as well. Thank you for the bits, Christy. Appreciate it. I am having a nice stream. Thank you for 200 bits. Um, I, I think we want to maybe upgrade Bash to get more damage. Maybe more turns of Weaken with Close Line, because that can mitigate a lot of damage. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll upgrade the Close Line. Well, I have Pantograph, so I could have probably afforded Dig. I would do Pant. We'll do Close Line. Upgrades are really important. I'm, I'm going to do Deck Spot just because I'm a little scared about this fight. So unfortunately, we didn't get the weaken, right? So the weaken is really important for us to for us to mitigate damage. Heavy blade, okay. Heavy blade is actually kind of clunky in this deck, I would say. So I don't want this to hit the twin strike, but it did. So not having upgraded true twin true bits to be really bad. Oh, that's rough. We have pen nib, right? So we can do a pen nib on the... Oh, Brutality puts us on a timer that I don't like, actually. Brutality might kick my ass. I don't know how I feel about this timer of Brutality, actually. So if I do this, I take one damage, which but the vulnerable could help me out, but it's only two turns of vulnerable. So it's not that useful. Maybe Brutality's actually gonna be killing me. We are in a streak right now, yes we are. What's up, man? So I wanted to close them because the weakens really important, but we're taking more damage and we're also in brutality, so this is like eh, it's getting cutting and close. We have pendant too. All right, we gotta kill him now. We did it. Okay, this was scary as hell. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not liking the way this deck started off. 
Wow. Wow, okay. So, this is not really the win conditions I'm looking for, right? Like, we have Reaper, which is not doing much for us. Juggernaut, which is making us... Well, with soft farming clay and brutality, Juggernaut getting proc every turn. And then Exhum is okay, I guess. For Panacea, right? And brutality did work, right? So, the brutality helped me get three consistent defense, and it helped me get the card draws that I needed. So, brutality was really nice. It's actually a really nice combo. Uh, Exhum's actually kind of interesting, because if I get... I actually like... So, the brutality does make sense with... Uh, Juggernaut makes sense with brutality clay, right? Because I'm proccing this every turn. That's like a consistent damage, but I don't like that. I think what I want is Exhum, because with Panacea, I get one flex. I do flex Panacea, and then Exhum the Panacea, and I can get strength scaling. So, I'm doing Exhum. You guys are going to see this. Oh, we got Snekawai. Whoa, 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 wee wah. Um, I don't really have a deck for Snekawai, but the things I don't really have a deck... I don't really have a deck in general, right? So Snekawai at least gives me card draw, which makes Brutality a little bit worse. But Brutality is not bad in Snekawai because card draw means that I can potentially get a more random cost card that would be good. So we gotta do Snekawai even though our deck doesn't suit it. We can always build our deck around it. So we'll do Snekawai. And so Panacea combo with Flex is not as strong now because they're cheap cards. I kind of want to avoid elites if I can, if I can help it, right? So I can uh, I can avoid this. I can avoid all elites, but I only get two rests. If I go for an elite, I can get three rests and then one elite. Let's go this way. Man, this is... This is going to turn out to be tragic, right? This is how we lose a streak. We got to have to win this. We'll find a way to win this. find a way to win this. So Panacea is actually fine here because it stops the frail and that actually does a lot for me. So Panacea is doing work. Blood for Blood is doing work too. So I could fire pot him right now. I'll, I won't fire pot him. I'll take the damage. Okay. Armaments makes sense, right? So we can we're gonna draw seven cards a turn, so armaments plus can upgrade potentially six cards a turn. Only problem with armaments is that um it's not gonna be reliable cost, and we still have to upgrade it. And I don't really want to upgrade it, I wanna get digging. So another rare instance rupture be rupture be okay here, actually. So what I need to do is build around Sneko. So yeah, expensive cards. Like Bludgeon, Demon Form, Barricades, stuff like that. I think Armaments is really good because we get a lot of card draw. So I'm going to take Armaments. But again, it's probably going to be bad because it's not going to be cheap. This is a rough fight, man. This is a really rough fight. This is, man, I'm taking, Act 2 is so painful. The yeah, arm is trash, actually. Um, damn, so I want to kill this guy with Fire Pot Strike, but then, so there's a few things I could do. I could arm it's True Grit and get rid of something and, and defend and let this guy die to Fire Pot next turn. So let's see the block, so that's going to be doing 9 block plus 5. 14 block plus 6. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So we have we have pendant, so we can probably get a pendant cleave. Or clothesline. Okay, I like that. The worst case scenario, we fire pot this guy. I'll fire pot him. Okay, uh, that's fine. It took a lot of damage, but it's fine. Havoc is not gonna be free. Headbutt. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to skip. Yeah, we need expensive cards. So I can get a relic, or I can, the shop can give me something. Uh, I'll, I'll get a relic. Mm, that's not bad. 
I wouldn't have ordered any of this stuff anyway. So clothes now becomes a little bit better. But for the most part, this is not very good either. Uh, this is rough, guys. This is rough. This is tough. Nuni-chan, how you doing? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna dig. I, I'm gonna rush first, but then we're gonna dig. Close. I already have a clothesline. I mean, I could have got a second one. I'm trying to trying to get something a little bit better though. Maybe I can't force it. So brutality is actually fine. Ah, uh, should have done a strike maybe. So this is where I need my panacea, and I didn't get it because the days are gonna kick my ass. But you know what? Days are actually really good because they have shared ashes. So never mind. I feel like I'm gonna die too, yes, yes. My deck is not looking very good right now, but we're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best. Trust me, I'm trying to get the 3 0 going, but. I can weaken him, or I can do weaken him true armaments. Dead branch can bring this deck alive, right? If I get a dead branch, then this deck can become alive. It's all it takes is one dead branch, guys. It's all it takes. Funeral pain makes a lot of sense. So I was talking about flex with the panacea, right? So flex panacea gives me the strength scaling with the... Okay, let's see what the boss is. Yeah, so flex panacea gives me strength scaling, and then I can do it again and get exhum as potentially 8 strength, but it's kind of slow, right? Funeral pain makes sense with true grits and... Not really, actually. Fiddle Pink doesn't make that much sense. I mean, it's nice to have, but... Huh. At least Flex makes sense with Panacea to get some strength scaling. But Fiddle Pink does make sense with Tyrion's Ashes. I'm gonna have to dig for a dead branch. I think that's what the play. And that means we're gonna have to go for an Elite. Honestly, I think we have to skip the Elite. Because I want to dig for dead branch, but... Then we have to go into the Elite with low life. I guess it's a risk I can take. Or I could just skip the elite and go to these events. It's just rough, right? I go to these events, I check out this chest, maybe the chest has something good, and I can go up here, try to get through Act 2. I can dig or upgrade. What do I upgrade? True Grip, maybe, now that we have Final Pain, Armaments for more upgrades. It's not the same outcome, because I can skip the elite, right? I can skip the elite, whereas this right here, I don't. It's the same outcome, yeah, so I can dig and get a relic, or I can go to the elite. Question marks can be hard. You think question marks can be hard? Really? Well, question marks could be what? Question marks don't have to be hard. I think we gotta take the risk because if we don't take the risk, then we're probably dead. All right, let's see. If I don't take damage, the magic flower does some does work for me. I don't take damage, the magic flower does work for me, right? I'm doing brutalities because it's gonna help me out a lot. Sharon's ashes is, is doing so much work for me, guys. Take a look at that turn, guys. Take a look at that turn. Dragonite would have been nice as well. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, Exum was... I didn't know what I was going to get. So Magic Flower heals me. I end up getting healthier. And now we got a Fire Pad, which is good for the Elite. This is a rough fight. I need to get Panacea first turn. And I did. That's really nice. That's extremely nice. I actually want this guy to just be dead, right? 
Actually, I want to bash her instead. And I'm going to poison pot her as well. I know maybe I should be saving the poison pot for the elite. But this is a rough fight. Anger's back hard when you have, when you have Snake Eye, right? Because it's not going to be zero cost most of the time. So Funeral Pain is obviously really good for the days, but it's so expensive right now. So I could just take the, take the damage, or I could say, you know what? I'd rather defend defend. And not get Funeral Pain out. Because anyways, what's going to happen is... We're going to draw back into Funeral Pain anyways, because we draw seven cards a turn. See, again, Fatal Pain is a pain in the ass. I, I don't have days. What am I talking about? Fatal Pain is not going to do shit here. Okay, we're good. Oh, this arm can save me so much against this elite. So, whoa, but Rupture Plus is so good. Ah, oh, this is rough, guys. This is rough. This is rough. Um, for Rupture Plus makes sense with Brutality. There's some strength scaling that I might just need to win the game. Or win this boss fight, whereas this arm could help me out a lot against this elite. Because if it's Stabby Boy or Gremlin Leader, then this arm is fantastic. But Rupture makes a lot of sense with Brutality. Oh, God. I really don't like Rupture, man, but I'm kind of without options here. This arm could help me out a lot, but... Guys, someone sold to RNG. Guys, how? And this... Uh, my R my R is not that great right now, actually, dude. And I said rough deck. Well, Snickle was better than Calling Bell, I would see. I mean, we could take the Feather, but the Feather's not really impactful. Rupture's better for the boss, right? So I'm worried about the boss, right? Because right now, we don't have any scaling for the boss. The best way we could beat the boss would be just flat-out damage with, like, clothesline cleave, stuff like that. But he's going to scale up, and I'm not. And Rupture helps me scale up, but it also puts me on a timer with Brutality, which... But with Pendant, maybe Rupture's fine. I'll take the Rupture. Just arm's safer. The arm's not good in this fight, anyways. Um, I want to defend, but... Okay. So I like Bash Cleave, but I'd rather defend. Okay, so what's interesting about this is I want to keep the Exhum. I could do Exhum for more block, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get uh, self forming Clay here. We prevent the Vulnerable, which is really nice, right? We have Rupture with Brutality, but Rupture is kind of a curse at this moment. So what we could do is Clothesline and Fire Pot. Well, how much damage are we doing? So if we do Clothesline here, plus Twin Strike, we can kill him with Fire Pot. It seems probably better. Just to kill that guy now. This is doing 10 damage. Or what I could do is do defend, and he's gonna... Since I'm not getting the vulnerable anyways because of this artifact, I could let him hit himself with the... Bronze Scales, plus 3 damage from the Charon's Ashes. So that's 6 damage. He's gonna be down to 15, and I can fire pot next turn. Actually, just do fire pot now. And defend. He's dead. Um, let's defend the. Tr let's, let's upgrade the true grit, right? Oh, we did it. Okay. Um. I won't be vulnerable because I had the artifact from Panacea. So these are not really the things I'm looking for, but you know what? I had Panacea for more. I use Panacea. Panacea is this card right here that prevents... Uh, it gives me an artifact. So I've, I've been taking Panacea because I really like it with Flex. It gives me uh, four strength with Flex, and I can exhume it back, but I have Sever Soul, so it's kind of difficult. I mean, I have Senko Eyes, so it's kind of difficult. But, um... Yeah, I don't know what to do here. I mean, Sever Soul could be a good source of block, but not really that great. I don't have any wound generation or anything. Wild Strike. Could be more damage. 
This deck is struggling, guys. I like Thunderclap to remove the artifacts, right? Because right now we have Closed Line Bash. I'll take Thunderclap. I'm gonna go for another Elite, actually, I would say. I feel like we gotta take that risk. I feel like if we don't take a risk for another elite, we're we're not gonna win. Um, I like <laughs> so I like zoom into strike. Let me show you this. Very nice. Uh, skippy skippy. Man, we're not getting high cost cards. I feel like we had to go for an elite. So we did the slavers, which I thought was pretty difficult, but not too bad. We can do the. the yeah, let's do another one. It's not very good, actually. I mean, this might kill me. But I felt like I had to take a risk. This might kill me, but... If I get a dip wrench or something, I'm saved. So I like doing the weekend, but I also want to get the defend out, so it's kind of rough. So we're taking a big hit here. Mm, this might kill me, guys. I don't mind taking a small hit because that gives me self forming clay, so that's not bad. Oh, we got Brutality. We also got Reaper again, right? So we could do Exhum for the Reaper again, but it won't be free. We also do Exhum again for Infernal Blade. We have Pendip coming up, right? So we can do Pendip Clothesline here. I don't know if that kills. So this does 4 plus 13. So that's 4 plus 13 is 17 plus 20. So it's going to be 28 damage, but it's going to be doubled. So 28 plus 14. It's 42. 42 plus 17. Not quite lethal. But he would kill himself with the... the... Okay, I'm gonna do something. Check this out. He goes left on the first proc. First proc kills him. First proc kills him. Easy. Strawberry is not really helping me in my life, right? So this is interesting. So anticlimactic, right? We got strawberry. Whatever. I mean. It's okay, so I can take another clothesline since we might be get some value out of it. Sure, I feel like we need something like that. I, I could dig for Dead Branch again, or I could upgrade Armaments and get full upgrades. The armaments has been very useful. But is Armaments gonna win me the game? I feel like we gotta dig. Mmm, these are not the relics I want, man. Okay, so we can upgrade Panacea, and we can also upgrade the Final Pain. Let's upgrade the Final Pain. And I can save Panacea, and they don't really have any... So they don't have any debuffs that they're giving to me. So I'll save Panacea for another day. So Armist would have been a good upgrade, but... I thought the... There's a chance that the relic was really good for us. Brutality is going to be my way to scale, right? So if I can get Brutality out and Rupture and I can start scaling up, that can probably be my way to win. Feed is nice. So I want to get rid of this guy's artifacts, right? Because if I don't get rid of this artifacts, then he's not going to be weakened for the... 
for the hyper beam, man. I need to get him weakened. No, I know, I know, I could, I know digging because I have pentagraph. I know I was gonna heal. I wasn't gonna rest. I was debating whether or not I should upgrade armament so I can get upgrades throughout the fight. And I was trying to wonder if that was better than. Then looking for a relic. So this is double damage, right? So we got the brutality out. I think we gotta use it. Yeah, so it's putting me on a timer, right? Now we're on a timer of brutality, but that could be the strength scaling I need. And we wanna get the weaken because he's a hyper beam next turn. So it's a really bad snake wide turn. We don't get a lot of low cost things. But we got the weaken. Now we just need to defend. So defend is good. Um, Panacea gives me 5 block. Truger gives me some decent amount of block. So I'm gonna go ahead and do True Grit as well. I got rid of the defense. Uh, but for the most part, that's not too bad, right? And now we're getting some strength. So maybe we could do this. That's a pretty decent turn as well. Like, I wanna do Bash Clothesline. I just wish Bash. I also wanna upgrade the Bash so it lasts longer. Fuck. Fine. I got Pendum stacked up, so Pendum might save me, right? I did feed just to kill it, not not to. So I can probably get a Pendum this turn. Let me, let me see. I can upgrade the trigger, which I think is pretty important. So I can get a Pendum clothesline this turn. So if I do pending close on this turn, then I don't I, I will take the damage. That's some good damage. So now we got bash again, which I think is pretty important. But Thunderclap is just as good actually in this situation. Because I can get a clothesline as well. Oh baby! We're not losing today! I told you we're not going to lose today. So Dark Embrace is interesting, right? Because... With Dark Embrace... It's most likely going to be cheaper, right? And... Let me swallow first. It's mostly like going to be cheaper, right? And because it's going to be cheaper, it's not going to be as expensive to play. And we have a decent amount of exhaust. We have a decent amount of exhaust, and the card draw is really nice with Sneko Eye, but we already have Brutality, right? So I feel like... You think I need... Dark Embrace? You think I need Dark Embrace? I mean, Offering is always really nice because it still gives you energy at the end of the day. So yeah, it may not be free all the time, but let's say it's free... On one of your turns, then you get three card draw, which you're looking for Sneko Eye. You get energy on top of it, and then you also get the exhaust energy as well, right? You get the Charon's Ashes and the Final Pain with the exhaust. It's going to be expensive sometimes, and sometimes it's not going to be expensive. Since we draw seven cards a turn, or now with Brutality, we draw eight cards a turn. We don't really mind if Offering can't be played on one turn. We save it in the deck and wait for it to be uh, another turn. We cycle through our deck really quickly. Offering also works with ru Rupture, right? Offering also works with self-harming clay. But Dark Embrace, let me just think about the card draw Dark Embrace, right? So I can do things like Panacea to draw, True Grit to draw, Exhum to draw. I can add things like Reckless Charge into my deck to get uh, Charon's Ashes, Final Pain, and Discard for draw, so Reckless Charge becomes better. But Reckless Charge is going to be expensive most of the time. You think Dark Embrace will, will draw more? Well, think about it. So Dark Embrace in the hallway fight is not going to be that useful, right? So let's say Dark Embrace costs 3 in a hallway fight. I'm not playing it. But if at least Offering costs 3, there's still some good reason to play it because that gives you 2 energy. So I, whatever, it costs 1 energy to get 3 cards draw. That's pretty decent. Maybe Dark Embrace shines in, in boss fights, but by the time I have the boss fight, I think my deck's going to be doing other things that Dark Embrace is not necessary. right? Because I already have Vitality for card draw. I know I'm thinking about this a lot, guys, but I'm just trying to make sure we win this, so... I haven't even given thoughts to Double Tap, but Double Tap is very interesting because not only do we have Pen Nib, but... 
We're getting so many free attacks in our hand because of Sneko Eye. The double tap could potentially get some decent value. But the problem is double tap has to be cheap and so does the attack. So it's like two variants there. So I like both of these guys. I like offering. So Kursky, Mark of Pain. We have blue candles, so Kursky's fine. Now that would have been really good for Dragon Brace. So let's think about it. If I had Dragon Brace, I could have taken the curses willy-nilly, discard them with blue candle, and draw right back, and there's no downside. But here's the other thing. Now we're going against the Awakened One, so powers are not as good. So it goes both ways. And not to mention Kursky's only gonna probably give me one curse. That's fine. I can always remove it from the shop right here. So we have a lot of gold. We do want to see a shop. And I don't know if I want to see an elite. I could do an elite, but I think it's a necessary risk. So I'm actually going to go straight on the right path. So Snack Wide becomes a little bit better, right? When you have four energy. Now things get a little bit spicier. I got to think about how I'm going to start beating this boss. How am I going to beat... The Awaken one. We'll think about it as we get closer. Penum's really nice. So, Shrug It Off is very good. Not only is it upgraded, but it's card draw. So, I, I like the flex thing with Panacea, but it's going to be expensive. So, Shrug It Off is fine. Yes. Why do I have a feeling this is going to give me Dead Branch? Do you guys got that same feeling? Am I the only one feeling this? I feel like this is going to give me Dead Branch for some reason. You guys getting that same feeling? Oh, what? Did I skip a curse somewhere? Oh, Curse Key or Mori. Oh my god. I, I don't even know my own things. You feeling a mango? Yeah, mango is probably gonna have it. It's more realistic. So this is one of those turns where offering sucks, right? Not bad. Not bad, right? Because we have we have um what's it called? We have Snake Eye, right? So we're drawing seven cards a turn. So we're cycling through our deck really quickly, and with brutality out in play, we're drawing eight cards a turn. So that Sun Dao's gonna get value. The thing is, I'm thinking about Hemokinesis because we do have Rupture and we do have Self Forming Clay. Hemokinesis is a decent amount of damage. For eight, uh, for two lose two HP. I don't know if it's worth it, but I have magic flower, so I heal up more during combat, so I can kind of sustain this after the fact. So I don't know if we go for Hemokinesis or we go for Heavy Blade, because Heavy Blade is going to be cheaper more often than not, and then it also dumps the strength because of Rupture shenanigans. But here's also a thing: I don't even know if I want to play Rupture for this Awakened One. I think that's an unnecessary way to give him strength. I'll do... Yeah, Hemokinesis is no longer good, right? So if Hemokinesis is not cost, if it's costing more than one, it's no longer good. You're right. I mean, it still gives you Rupture Scaling, and it still does, but... This card is does this because of its cost. So if the cost is random, then it's no longer good, right? So we can take the heal. Madness is interesting because Madness procs the Chair and Ashes. We have a lot of money, so this shop could be interesting. So Rupture Offering is really nice here. I don't mind the dazes because the dazes are going to kill these guys. Like, they're going to kill themselves with the dazes with Sharon's Ashes. Fuck it. 
Oh wait, that was stupid. I should've killed that guy. That was stupid. I know I want to scale. I know I want to scale on the waking one, but... So Perfect Strike becomes better, guys. Perfect Strike becomes better. It's not bad. Infernal Blade is really nice, but Perfect Strike becomes a little bit better. Well, the thing is, the Awakened One doesn't scale, right? The Awakened One doesn't scale on the first phase. So with that in mind... Oh, this sucks. Yeah, so the Awakened One doesn't scale on the first phase. But if I can, if, I mean, yeah, I'm probably gonna play Rupture, but I'm hoping to get like a Disarm or something. I'm hoping that Offering still costs two, huh? There was absolutely no point for me to uh, use the Lucan player. So Rampage is a nice way to scale. So Perfect Strike becomes a little bit better. Is this turning into a Perfect Strike deck? I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little meany, but Perfect Stripes has always been pretty nice. I didn't like the Thunderclap, honestly, but I can lose it. So we can dig. I feel like digging is important. We still haven't found anything good from the digging. So we're getting a curse is fine because of Mori. That's fine. We get a lot of gold, so that makes the shop really big. We get Riot, which is fine. Happy Flower is fine. Again, we didn't get jack shit. We have all this gold. Oh gosh, we can remove the Rive, or we can also just use it to get self forming clay and rupture. I don't actually mind the Rive with with Terrence Ashes. Rive is fine, actually. Choose a skill from your draw and place it in your hands. All these things are very cheap. Uh, I could do Juicy Bracelet. Okay. And maybe Juicy Bracelet will give me an event here that I can send my money, like another shop. I had to hope that I get another shop, basically. So there's not another shop. So what I could do is I got Juicy Bracelet, so maybe one of these would be a shop. I won't... There's a chance. Toxic Egg's okay to get Armaments Plus. Okay, we're skipping now. Oh, I want to remove something, right? So I probably want to remove... Something is not working well in this deck, and I don't know what it is. At this point, I don't want to remove strikes because we have perfected stri uh, per We don't want to remove strikes because we have perfected strikes, so I don't want to remove strikes. I guess everything's working well in this fight. Maybe Bash isn't, but Bash Vulnerable is pretty useful. So we're going to go ahead and... Hopefully this event is a shot, but we're going to dig again. Okay. No. Uh, this could be interesting. So Dark Shackles is really good. Against the Awakened One. Mind Blast is pretty good as well, because... Nah, Dark Shackles. Add a random color to this card to your hand, or draw two cards. I like draw two cards. Dude, okay, so this gold didn't do much for us. I guess we can remove the curse. But I've been liking... Remove Armaments. I actually like Armaments upgraded. I actually like the armaments because it's been doing some work for me. I guess it's kind of not that great. I can remove it and upgrade True Grit instead. I've been trying to dig for like Dead Branch or something. I've been digging this whole game and I got in jack shit. I have both armaments. We can dig again. So I. 
I do want to upgrade True Grit, but I also want to try to maybe get one last dig. Maybe this dig will be it. Maybe this dig will be the one. We try this whole game, maybe this is going to be the one. The one true dig to save them all. Alright. Alright. Not worth. Uh, I'll say brutality's worth. I'll, I'll use brutality. The dig has been awful this game, but sometimes the dig's not awful, so. Perfected Strike is huge for me. What the hell? I should have upgraded Shrew Grit, honestly, but whatever. So we're taking a little bit of damage here. It's okay, it's manageable. So I think I want to do Rupture. But I'm going to give him strength. So I'm going to do Rupture. We're going to... I want to do Final Pain as well, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to weaken him. All right. We're going to Dark Shackles. Dark Shackles is massive right now. Doesn't exhaust anymore, really? I feel like we should do Dark Shackles. Should we? Just because it kills the, the kills the cultists too. Try out going will call me Jax. We are um we're we haven't lost a game today. So try out doing well. Alright, we're gonna get strength scaling now, it's fine. Alright, I'm gonna say Final Pain. I, I know Final Pain is giving me good good consistent block, but I think with the weaken we can manage. Wow, Perfection Strike is huge. This is not a very good turn. I want to keep him weakened. Okay, I think we got this, guys. I think we got this. We're on a we're on a clock, right? Because of brutality, but it's a clock that I feel like well, I'm a little worried about Truga hitting something important. Like I do want to do Final Pain. What if Truga hits Final Pain? That's gonna suck. Oh no! Okay, I guess we don't need fiddle pain for the second phase, anyways. But it, that's that's a tough one. Um, damn, this is rough. You like it, Mork? Appreciate that, man. Uh, let's keep him weakened, and... Whoa, we got Pendib, so I could waste it on a strike, or I could waste it on... Perfect Strike coming up. I'm gonna save it. Oh, we can always, like, zoom back to Final Pain. Wait a second. Ah, that's a better Pendib, right? Only problem is he's attacking for a shit ton. That's kind of sucky. So I could... Damn. I kind of want to block with... Ooh, I can't. Oh, that's perfect. Alright. I got rid of the clothesline, but we have two clothesline. That's fine. Okay, so we want to put a card on top of the deck for the next phase, which is going to be a defense, right? Uh, so we have 34 turns, and we can't be... we got to get a weak in here. Wow, we got an offering for free. This is gonna be insane. We also have Phenol Pain now. So I can do Phenol Pain or Dark Shackles. I don't know what's more important. I think maybe Phenol Pain. Dark Shackles is really good though too though. Interesting. I can't be taking damage because I'm on a clock, right? And that's his biggest hit. We need to weaken ASAP. Oh, offering made me the clock even harder. So there's the weaken. Let's push Rugged off on top of the deck.
That's decent damage. Whoa, we got Pendip here. We're not losing today, guys. I don't know how I went with that deck. Sneko, I saved the day. 3-0, guys. 3-0. Uh, let's end it on another win.